Welcome to Business Voice, a program of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce. Each month, we'll feature business and community leaders sharing their stories, initiatives, concerns, and passions. Learn practical information regarding community resources and opportunities. Now, the host of Business Voice, Greece Regional Chamber President and CEO, Sarah Lentini. Hi, everyone. You're listening to Business Voice, a program of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce, sponsored by Bartolomeo and Prado Funeral Home. I'm Sarah Lentini, your host, and also the president and CEO of the Greece Regional Chamber. And I'm extra delighted to welcome my first guest here today, uh, Dave Parado of Bartolomeo and Prado Funeral Home, of course, our presenting sponsor for Business Voice. Welcome, Dave. Hello, everybody. Glad to be on. Wonderful to have you on, Dave. So Bartolomeo and Prado Funeral Home is, um, you know, a, a, a family-owned business. What are you, a three-generation family-owned business? Yeah, we're on year 100 this year, which is we're kind of proud of to be around that long. And wow. a lot of fa- family businesses don't make that, so we're, we're pr- proud of that. I would think so, 100. I didn't realize this was your anniversary year. We're going to have to do something special. Are you already yeah. making plans? Well, it's been such a busy year. We haven't actually, so I, it's on my list of things to do before the before the summertime here. Wonderful, one hundred years, and it's three generations, or or am I overstating it? That's correct. We're my brother and I are the third generation. Okay, and I, your brother, you and your brother are both wonderful. Your dad is wonderful. So you're saying, was it your grandfather who started the business? Uh, actually, my great aunt and great uncle. Oh wow! My dad mother's aunt yeah very cool very cool it's got to be um you know very special to be working with your brother and your dad in the business yeah so it's it's always interesting when you first start you know you you got the family relationships and you got to establish that uh that boundary between work and and family relationships and it it takes a little while to coalesce but it uh it's it's been a it's been a joy Oh, that's wonderful. And I know you didn't start out um, thinking you were going to go into the family business, did you? No, I was uh, in college for horticulture and running a uh, landscaping business and didn't like the wintertime layoff, (laughs) sitting around for three or four months. I'm not that kind of a person, so had to do something different. That's great. Well, um, horticulture is a wonderful thing to study, but I'm so I'm sure your your dad and your brother were really happy to see you coming to uh, to join in and working with them on something that's uh, so special to the family and carrying on a legacy. So, what happens? Three generations? Any any uh, possibility that it'll be four, or is it too early to tell? It doesn't seem like that's going to happen, but you never know. I made a change, so. My two nephews might do the same, but at this point, they have not committed to doing that, so we'll see what the future brings. Yeah, absolutely. And Bartolome Wen Prado Funeral Home is certainly one of the names, but didn't don't you guys also have, is it um, Walker Funeral Homes? Yeah, we also have Walker Brothers Funeral Home in Spencerport and Churchville. My father and, and the former owner, uh, Joseph Poarczyk, went to school together, and when Joe retired, uh, not having children in the business, he... Um, offered it, us an opportunity to purchase it, and it worked out for us. That's wonderful. So, what are the are all the locations on the west side for the various you know names that you you work yeah. under? Geographically, it's just about perfect. Each each location is about ten minutes apart, so it yes. kind of spreads us out a little bit and covers a, a greater area. So it's a uh, it's a good fit. Yeah, and I know it's it's very sad that you've been as busy as you have for the last two years, but thank goodness that you guys have been there to help families. I have to tell you that I have heard time and again from people in the community um, how terrific your family is and how much they trust you, uh, how kind you are, something, you know, all the things that are so important when you're going through something really tough. So, um, you know, I, um, I imagine that... Uh, uh, that's all um, draining on you guys, but uh, but something that you work hard to do well. It's such an important role that you play. Yeah, it's been a it's been a challenging couple of years. You know, scheduling with people, our own staff getting COVID here and there, and and certainly all the rules and regulations, and trying to make everything fit so we can do our what we do. And and it's been a, it's been a a road I don't want to go back down, but no. we're we seem to be through it all now, and it's feeling normal again, which is which is nice. That's great. It's really great to hear that from you because I figure you, 
you know, you have a the, one of the best perspectives, quite frankly, on what's really going on out there. So if things are seeming like they're normalizing, that's wonderful. That tells us yeah. that uh, things really are normalizing. So um, you've probably seen some changes over the years, you know, uh, in terms of how people are approaching funerals. Um, I know... Um, Many more people are, you know, considering cremations, and your own business, just your business model, has probably changed, right? Yeah, the, probably the biggest change, well, two biggest changes would be, you're right, cremation, but the other big change is less people attending church regularly, so mm-hmm. uh, we kind of decided to put uh, ourselves in a position of being the answer when you don't have a go-to uh, clergy person to have a service or a ceremony, so we've stepped in that role, and when there's a void, and uh, provide that service for people. And it's probably about a third of the time that people do request that kind of service where we uh, actually preside over the services. So right right there on your um, at the funeral home location, which is quite beautiful. You have a really nice site. What, um, what, what is the address again? It's what is it, Long Pond and... Um... Uh, in Vintage Lane, yeah, 1411 Vintage, right at the corner of Long Pond. Yep. Nice, nice, big, beautiful facility with lots of parking and, you know, very easy to access. I find the roads around there nice and wide and uh, easy to navigate. So um, did that require, I mean, if the things that you do require some training, correct? Yeah, that, that's, well, obviously with being a funeral director, you're, you have to get continuing education every year. But for us, we all went out and got celebrant training um, where we, you know, we have a service the other day. We had people in and um, just allowing them to share the story of their loved one. And um, that's a healing process in mm-hmm. itself when they can share that person and what they meant to them with everybody. It's really kind of what, what we look to have for everyone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, um, you know, as I, as I think about what you do, um, it's, um, you know, it's got to take a, when you're hiring, it's got to take a special person. That you, you know, you're not just hiring in other fields, it may matter less if somebody isn't particularly empathic or, you know, you're really looking for people with a wide range of skills, including a very special kind of personality, right? Yeah, you you know, you got to remember when someone comes to us, they're, they're not doing so well, you know, either emotionally or just physically, too. When they have illnesses, it can be tiring on a family. And, you know, we got to be very sensitive to all their needs and make sure that we, we're helping them and not, mm-hmm. and not causing any more any more grief on mm-hmm. the family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. It's an incredibly stressful time. Um, and do you coordinate at all? You must, right, with other sorts of related services, with, um, you know, uh, resting, final resting places, etc. Yeah, we um, obviously have uh, a lot of relationships with mm-hmm. clergy and cemeterians and, and um, you know, even government, uh, you know, veterans and those kind of organizations that, you uh, that kind of tie into all the services we're providing. So it's very important to have good uh, communication with all those groups. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So if somebody comes to you and they've got enough on their mind, you're able to help uh, connect them to whatever other sorts of services they might need, at least to sort of um, give them some some guidance uh, to help direct them, yes? Yeah, even a good, great example is the open house we had at Home Two Suites the other day. Mm-hmm. You know, people come from out of town for funeral services, and it's nice having a, a partner in the community where we can say, hey, go over there. It's, uh, it's someone that we can trust that will take care of people the way we would as well. Yeah, that's great. What a, And what a great example, in fact. Yeah, Home Two Suites by Hilton just opened up in Rochester, Greece, right next to BJ's, and they're a new premium member of the chamber, just as you guys are, Dave, premium members of the Greece Regional Chamber. And um, you know, it's a wonderful new facility, great place for, for exactly that. Um, you know, as I um, uh, think about, you know, this whole universe of choices, difficult choices that one has to make, and hopefully people, it's a tough conversation, but hopefully people talk with their loved ones, especially if they're um, older or uh, ill, but, but even if they're not, I mean, it's a good conversation for husbands and wives to have and family members to have to find out what each person wants in terms of, um, you know, uh, a final resting place. But something that seems to be um, relatively new, at least new to me, was that there are now these green burials, right? Yeah, almost every cemetery, well, the bigger ones anyway, in the Monroe County area are actually embracing that and have sections devoted to the green burial concept, which is a, a simpler, um, you know, you're not doing an embalming, you're not 
having a casket or a concrete enclosure. You're you're more kind of back to earth kind of a concept, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and most of the big cemeteries now have set aside areas just for that kind of an experience. Yeah, I, I'm going to guess that you know it may not appeal to everybody, but that that might be very appealing to um, to a number of people, and it's a good option to know. Uh, when I was growing up. I was under the impression, rightly or wrongly, that you had you legally had to be embalmed. So it sounds as though either I was wrong or that law changed. But uh, uh, but green, I don't think green burials were around in my youth. So um, very good to hear about that option. Um, so one of the things that's always struck me about uh, Bartolomeo Prado Funeral Home, uh, probably not a surprise to our listeners, given given that you're a sponsor of Business Voice, um, you're also the immediate past chair of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce. Um, is how community-minded you guys are. I mean, you're um, very, very involved in all sorts of uh, efforts in the community. And uh, I think we'd be remiss if we didn't bring up one final one that has something to do really with your business but is such a great community day and initiative. And that's the – I'm going to mess up the name. Dave, you're going to have to help me. But don't you have everyone come together for releasing butterflies one day a year? Yeah, COVID kind of put the last two years on hold, so we're so so enthused that we think we're going to have this year's um, without a hitch. Uh, So we do that in August, and we go out to the Camp North Point property for the YMCA because it's such a nice large property with with, um, some enclosures in case of there's inclement weather. But uh, we will release butterflies this year with um, every person that's invited gets to release a monarch butterfly in memory of their loved one. Um, It's really a special event. That's, that we look forward to. Yeah, that's got to be really quite something to participate in and also to see. Have, I'm sure people have taken photographs or tried to. It's probably a little elusive, right, the moment when... Yeah, when they first all take flight simultaneously, there's 150 monarchs all at once, and wow. it's uh, quite, the, quite the sight to see them all kind of look, to take flight at the same time, and you've got to catch it pretty quick. Yeah, I bet you do. Yeah, that's a challenge to you photographers out there, if they're even invited. I have no idea, but uh, what, a, what a cool event. Um, so nice that you're going to be able to do that again, especially for your 100th anniversary. That's quite amazing. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so. we, we, can't, we can't wait to finally pull that off. You know, the last two years with COVID, we weren't able to, both because of regulations and then even business struggles. The butterfly suppliers even had troubles, mm. so we... Um, we had that's what caused last year's uh, postponement. So this year we're, we're seemingly in good shape. Oh, that's great! And you said in August, right? Yeah, we do that towards the end of August because they will take flight and migrate down to Mexico ah. to over winter. So we always shoot for the end of the summer just for that reason. I see. So this this uh, coincides with their natural migratory cycle. Right. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Very cool. So we've learned. I've learned something here today on Business Voice. Didn't know about the migrating patterns of monarch butterflies. So, um, and I want to thank you because. Beyond that, you guys are huge uh, champions of the community, as as I mentioned before, certainly of the Greece Regional Chamber for many years. Um, we're so indebted to you. You're supportive of businesses and nonprofits and civic things. Um, I want to thank you because you guys are um, a platinum sponsor for our upcoming Health and Home Expo, which is taking place on Saturday, June 4th at the mall at Grease Ridge from 10 to 1, uh, free and open to the public. And um, there'll be lots of exhibitors in addition to Bartolomeo and Prado Funeral Home. And it's uh, such a such a nice event for people to be able to get out and stretch their legs. The weather is warm. You know, the mall is nice and big and all kinds of different exhibitors. So thank you very much for doing that. You're welcome. Yeah. And of course, for sponsoring many other things. Um, and uh, your brother is involved in stuff as well. I, um, you know, and your and your father was for many years. I, I just want to do a shout out to your dad because you and um, and Mike, your brother and your dad, um, you all are, you know, you give you do a wonderful job of giving words of comfort um, words of honor in in advance of events. You know, for many years, your dad would get up and give give some words at some of our major events, and now you are doing that. So, um, does that just come naturally, or is that part of the training as well? Or it's just experience, really. It's you know, all the years of um, speaking in front of crowds, and like you said, giving comfort to people when they need it. And uh, it's a it's a it's a learned skill, I think. And you know, to feel the crowd and and kind of respond to it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you you all do it very well, and of course, yeah, that makes sense. Day in and day out. For how many years have you been doing this now? Myself, it's been uh, just about thirty years now. Um, wow! I put it on click. 
<laughs> yeah, it sure does. You blinked and there you are. Yeah. That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. So um, I, uh, I hope that uh, um, you let us know as an, and even help us work with you to plan some nice events for your 100th anniversary Bartolomeo and Parado Funeral Home, Walker Brothers Funeral Home. Uh, very cool that you are um, you're hitting a centennial mark. Um, we'll keep our fingers crossed that maybe somebody in the family turns it into a fourth generation family business. But in the interim, it's wonderful that it's a three generation family business. You know, you're you're really dealing with, you know, caring human beings that know what you know that have been doing this for a while and uh, have the breadth of experience and kindness that I think is needed. Um, but in the interim, if people are looking to get a hold of you, how do they do that? Well, you know, certainly, like you were saying earlier, a lot of people like to you now plan ahead. Um, so that's always an offer to sit down, you know, no obligation, just sit down and chat about, you know, different things you can have a part of your services someday. Um, and just get those thoughts moving. And um, mm-hmm. you can call us, you know, many times, 720-6000 to set up an appointment to sit down and go over those kind of options. And, and planning ahead does help uh, the family in, in the long term. So it definitely is an opportunity. Yeah, and that, 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 that makes a lot of sense. It's really terrible if you don't know what somebody wanted and you want to make sure to honor them correctly, but you don't quite know what that is. So you're really doing your family and yourself a favor. So that was 7206000? Correct. 7206000, uh, phone number to call uh, Bartolomeo and Prado. F- Bartolomeo and Prado Funeral Home. Uh, Dave Parado, Bartolomeo and Prado Funeral Home. Thank you so much for being here with us today on Business Voice. Glad to be here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, very welcome. All right, don't go away. We're going to be right back with my next guest. Don't flip that dial. Families who choose cremation may worry about security. Are the ashes in the urn, in fact, their loved ones? Bartolomeo and Prado Funeral Home is Monroe County's exclusive provider of cremation with confidence. Their 10-step cremation process guarantees that the cremated remains returned to you are those of your loved one. To learn more about cremation with confidence, call Bartolomeo and Prado Funeral Home, 720-6000. Since 1983, Herco Computers is Rochester's first and most experienced custom computer system builder. Herco Computers is proud to be working with many of our original customers, including the Grease Chamber of Commerce. Whether you need a custom business PC, gaming system, or network server, Herco Computers can build you a custom computer system that exceeds your expectations. Herco Computers also offers complete IT support for your business. We can configure your business network, provide security from viruses and ransomware to keep your business or medical office running the way it should be. Herco Computers is also a full-service provider of network wiring, Wi-Fi, and network camera systems. Need to upgrade from Windows 7? Give Herco Computers a call at 227-1270 to discuss your options to get your business upgraded to Windows 10. Herco Computers is proudly locally owned and operated since 1983. Call us at 227-1270 and schedule your Herco Computers free IT evaluation. Herco Computers, 227-1270. Depositing your money with Genesee Regional Bank helps strengthen the local community. That's because GRB lends its deposits so the community can grow and prosper. Genesee Regional Bank, community banking, community building. Visit grbbank.com, member FDIC. Shop at WYSL Store 24 hours for official apparel, drinkware, and gift ideas at WYSL1040.com. Welcome back. You're listening to Business Voice, a program of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce, sponsored by Bartolomeo and Parado Funeral Home. I'm your host, Sarah Lentini, also the president and CEO of the Chamber. And I'm delighted to welcome my next guest, a veteran of the show, J.J. Patrikas of Blink Fitness. Welcome, J.J. Thanks for having me. Great to have you back on the show. J.J., you've got um, all kinds of stuff going on, uh, so it'd be great to update our listeners. Uh, and, and just, you know, for starters, Blink Fitness is a great, still relatively new gym um, in Greece, in Ridgemont Plaza, right? Yes. Yep. Uh, you know, coming up on our, uh, uh, we just had our second uh, May the Fitness Be With You event. <laughs> I know the, you shared, shared some info about that. 
Um, so, yeah, coming up on our – we've been in business for about two years here and um, just uh, looking to continue our – to expand our presence across the, the, the Rochester and the Greece community. Yep. And the region, because you don't have to live or work in Greece to go to the to the, the gym in, in um, at Ridgemont, Ridgemont Plaza. But, of course, it's extremely convenient uh, to the many residents of the Greece area as well. So um, it's a beautiful gym. Let me just say, if you haven't been there, it's it's new. It's equipped with all kinds of wonderful equipment and all kinds of, you know, there's also, uh, you know, you have more more beautiful flat screen TV monitors per square inch than I've ever seen. And you're streaming and all kinds of great programming. So if you need to get your mind distracted while you're exercising, you got it. And uh, the gym is incredibly clean. I couldn't believe, I think, um, Amaja Grant, who's your general manager in Greece, was telling us how often you clean. What is it? They're cleaning every 20 to 30 minutes going around and, uh, you know, cleaning the high touch points and, um, you know, making sure that um, we're, we're always providing sort of a spotless clean gym. I, I went in there um, uh, on May 4th last week and uh, it looked like grand opening. It still yep. honestly looks like grand opening yep. and that's kind of our, our standard. At the end yep. of the night, the, the team resets the gym, the grand opening standard. They even, they face the weights, they face the dumbbells. You come in in the morning and everything's like lined up. It's, yeah. it's very, very particular about, you know, the the experience we provide for our members. And, uh, you know, we, we, we've been doing that and we'll continue to do that for years to come. Yeah, which is great. And the staff is super friendly and it does. It looks just like the day it was open because we were with you for your grand opening. And then we just had a networking event the Chamber did um, at Blink this past Friday. And it was just gorgeous. It's just spotless and gorgeous and, and very inviting. So um, so if you haven't been to Blink, folks, you got to check it out. Now, what's going on um, this summer? Did Were you starting to tell me that you're going to have um, some, is it students? Student, some special student initiative. Yeah, so we have uh, we typically do uh, student uh, special deals for students over over summer break and over winter break. So this summer we have a deal coming up for the college students. It's actually starting right now. Um, uh, you know, beginning May eighth. So it's already, yeah, it's already active here. Uh, we have a, a seventy five dollar sale for uh, you get three months uh, for seventy five bucks. There's no other. Uh, you know, there's no maintenance fees, there's no sign-up fees, there's no cancellation fees. You know, you don't even have to have a credit card on file. So if a student wants to come in and work out for, uh, you know, for, for three months, uh, you know, the col- it's, it's perfect for the college kids. You know, just 75 bucks, quick and easy and convenient. Uh, and then for the high school kids, we, we'll start another promo um, in the middle of June. Uh, when the high school kids get out, we'll do a two-month membership for 60 um, Again, usually, you know, most gyms come up with a sign-up. There's a sign-up fee. There's a maintenance fee. Right. There's a, you know, sometimes there's a cancellation fee. We like to make it convenient for the kids. They don't even have to have a card on file as long as um, if they're 18 or over, they can come and sign up themselves. If they're under 18, the parent just has to come uh, for the initiation uh, and just sort of get them signed up, and then they can come anytime that they want. Uh, our memberships start at ages 14 and up. Uh, for the for the junior memberships, that's great. And, the and that sort of complements some other um, some other offers that you have out there for business, right? Correct. Yeah. We, so we have you know our memberships right now are still as low as ten dollars a month. Um, I know that those are subject to change at some point. We're 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 keeping the rock bottom rates right now. Um, so if you want to make sure you get you know it's a dollar down, ten dollars a month, you want to get the best deal that you possibly can. Um, you know, if that's still active. And then we have the, um, you know, our premium membership, which is, which is, you know, our blue membership it allows you access to 90 plus locations. But, you know, in the Greece area, the, the most beneficial part to that is, you know, having the ability to bring a guest and the ability to have the app with you, you know, your, your mobile companion, your fitness on the go here, um, all access to that and no commitment whatsoever on that plan for just $23 a month, dollar to, dollar to sign up, no commitment, cancel any time. Um, those deals are still going on. Um, but, again, the student memberships, you know, we like to give them even a, a lower barrier for entry here, just, you know, no no commitment. You're not signing any agreement. You're not signing. There's no cancellation, no joins. And mm-hmm. you want to just c- come on in and, uh, you know, work out for two or three months. You know, short-term membership options are, are available for you. Right. And then we've talked about this before, but you guys have um, personal trainers. I mean, you have an app. You've got stuff that complements the core gym, right? Yeah, we have some incredible trainers. We actually just brought on some new trainers, too. Uh, with just, uh, you know, I got a chance to meet them last week, um, two of our new trainers. It's absolutely incredible. 
Uh, everyone who signs up also gets a free startup session with a personal trainer. Um, if you don't know, you know where to where to get started. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, take you around the gym, show you around. You know, talk about your goals and and give you some exercises to do. We we even have you know programs available for you, um, whether it be nutrition. Um, you know, custom, you know, programs that you can do on your own. And so you can walk out of there with a personal trainer and they could have, you know, given you a, a program to follow for the next two, three, or six months that you can just take and, and do on your own. Or if you need that extra guidance, you know, again, all of our national certified trainers are, um, you know, sort of available for half hour or 60 minute, you know, one on one sessions uh, throughout the week. Um, and I'm, I'm really, really excited to announce that our, our head personal trainer, you know, has a, he sort of has a passion for um, kickboxing. Wow. Um, Garrett is our head personal trainer, and he's been, you know, he's been asking me for the last three or four months if we could get, you know, some more heavy bags in there um, because, you know, our members our members have, have asked for it, and, and, you know, he's very passionate about it. And I, I went and took a class with him. He's incredible. So we did just launch um, kickboxing, um, uh, boxing in a blink here. So G- Garrett's running, I believe, <laughs> two, two – um, Two days a week, he's running four different classes for kickboxing. Wow. Uh, you can you can you can reach out directly to, uh, to the club at five eight five five three two five six five zero, and you can ask about this. I, I wish I could tell you the dates and times. I apologize, but um, he's doing he's doing um, kickboxing classes twice a week, um, up to four four people in small group training, oh, nice. um, and it's just $15 for a class. Oh, wow. uh, and you don't even have to be a member to take the first class. Oh, wow. You don't have to be a member, and that's very affordable, and um, that sounds like fun. Really small groups mean, means he's really paying attention to whether you're doing it right, too, which is phenomenal. So you have a web address, too, though. You said if there's a, you know, a schedule of for this or in other classes, what's the where would people find that online? Yeah, if you go to blinkfitness.com, you'll you'll see the locations page on there, and you can search for the the blink nearest you, which will obviously basically show you the grease grease page, and um, you know you'd be able to go to blinkfitness.com and and the numbers on there, the addresses on there, you can sign up right online for a dollar. Right. Um, and you can find all the info on our, our personal training on there as well. Yeah, that's great. And then I'm um, especially delighted that you guys are participating in the Greece Regional Chambers Health and Home Expo, which is coming up on Saturday, June 4th from 10 to 1 at the mall at Greece Ridge. We're going to be between, you know, J.C. Penney and then Macy's is sort of an elbow and then um, Burlington Coat Factory and the Um, you know, the food courts nearby. So we're really centrally located at the mall and we're delighted. Blink is going to be there with an exhibit table. And so if you have any, you know, you're looking to connect with some of the folks at Blink, um, that's a perfect opportunity to do so. uh, In addition to, what was it again? Blinkfitness.com? Correct. Blink, Blink, you know, this is Blink like blinking your eye, just to make sure everybody's hearing it correctly. Blinkfitness.com. J.J. Patricus, I know you are the um, you're in charge of everything having to do with the upstate franchises uh, spanning across from, you know, uh, Syracuse uh, to Rochester and beyond. Thank you so much for joining us here today on Business Voice. Thank you, Sarah. Great to have you on. All right. Don't go away. We're going to be right back with my next guest. Don't flip that dial. When someone you love becomes a memory, the memory becomes a treasure. At Bardo Lameo and Prado Funeral Home, the focus is always on how your loved one lived. Bardo Lameo and Prado has been helping families create meaningful tributes and celebrating unique lives for three generations. They treat your family like their own, always with the utmost compassion, warmth, and care. When you're in need, call Bartolomeo and Prado Funeral Home, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's 720-6000. Enjoy dozens of exhibits related to your home and your health at the Greece Regional Chambers 2022 Health and Home Expo at the Mall at Greece Ridge on Saturday, June 4th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Lead sponsors are LaChase Construction Services, Bartolomeo and Prado Funeral Home, Bryant and Stratton College, Home Instead Senior Care, 13 Wham ABC, and WYSL. To find out more, visit us online today at greasechamber.org. The Greece Regional Chambers Health and Home Expo at the Mall at Greece Ridge on Saturday, June 4th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Care. It's more than a word. It's the heart of our mission and purpose for more than 25 years. 
Today, we serve 2.3 million members, partnering with top quality providers and caring for communities across New York State. This is Fidelis Care. If you need health insurance or if your coverage is changing, Fidelis Care can help. Call 1 888 Fidelis, TTY 711, or visit FidelisCare.org. Celebrating 35 years. AM 1040 Avon Rochester, FM 921 W221 CL Rochester, FM 955 W238 DE Spencerport, and WYSL 1040.com everywhere. Welcome back. You're listening to Business Voice, a program of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce, sponsored by Bartolome and Parado Funeral Home. I'm Sarah Lentini, your host. I'm also the president and CEO of the Greece Regional Chamber. And I have a wonderful guest coming up next, Matt Weinrich of Yeti to Work. Hi, Matt. How you doing? I'm doing well, Sarah, and how are you? Very good, very good. We've had you on the show before, but not for some time. Um, and, uh, and, you know, uh, of course, we have new, new listeners all the time, so it'd be great to explain to folks a little bit about Yeti to work. Um, and, you know, the obvious question also is, what the heck what the heck are you using a Yeti for in your name? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, good question. So first of all, a little bit about Yeti to work. Um, We are a a direct hire staffing company, recruiting company um, that was formed a little over four years ago by a couple of business partners, Corey Listar, uh, myself, and we about two years ago brought on my brother, Mike Weinrich as well. Um, so we work with, you know, smaller, medium-sized companies, mainly in the greater Rochester area, some, you know, far, you know, a little bit more national, mm-hmm. um, and help them with their staffing needs. Um, the name Yeti to Work was actually formed by Corey Listar and his, his wife. He, he uh, you know, Corey's kind of a, a Bigfoot enthusiast, I guess, <laughs> and, um, he wanted to incorporate the name Bigfoot or Yeti or Sasquatch into the name somehow, you know, something different <laughs> from like a, the, the normals that you would hear, like maybe a Weinrich Listar or Associates or something right, like right, that. Right. So he has a shirt that says, you know, who's Yeti to party? And it has a picture of a, a Yeti <laughs> holding like a bottle and like with, with Christmas lights wrapped around his neck and stuff like that. So him and his wife were joking around one day saying, who's Yeti? for bed who's yeti for dinner who's yeti for this and that and then his wife said who's yeti to work uh, and Corey was like oh that could be a perfect name for a recruiting company so it's just a, a fun play on words yep. something different yep. um at minimum it's a conversation starter oh, yeah. and uh it's, it's a little bit more different than uh you yep. know a lot of other recruiting companies out there so yeah, that, yeah. that's kind of the, the background of it that's great and and you've got an adorable really acute yeti as the um as part of your logo you know a very appealing um drawing of a yeti image of a yeti so not an off-putting yeti this is a nice yeti so yeah, not a scary one <laughs> more scary of a one. he looks like he's ready to work he has right. a laptop in one hand and um <laughs> He's trying to. He's trying to. He's trying to work. So very nice. Um, yeah, we we try to make it friendly. Yeah, and you know, Corey and his wife may have gotten that Yeti to you know Yeti for bed, Yeti to eat, Yeti to you know go out, Yeti to work. But it, I I think I confessed to you probably two years ago now, you and Corey, that for the longest time I didn't understand it. I didn't get that Yeti to work basically meant ready to work. So um, yeah. not to, not to, you know, not to over explain it, but, uh, but now that I get it, I'm like, how could I not have seen that before? But uh, it's adorable. Yeah, well, you're not, yep. you're definitely not the only one. Um, <laughs> we, we've had many people, you know, reach out to us because of our name. And some people are like, Yeti to work. What does that even mean? What is this? And <laughs> We have to explain it to them. Like I said, at the very minimum, it's a conversation starter either way. It allows right. us the opportunity to oh, explain yeah. who we are and what we do. So, yeah, no, I figure, um, yeah, you've kind of changed. It's a, cult- you've, it's a cultural addition. You know, this is sort of like Seinfeld's yada, yada, yada. Like once you've, once you've been exposed, you're, you know, you're going to get it and you're going to use it again in your life. So it's very cool. And you're right. It's not stayed. It's it, and much more memorable than, you know, Cochran. I don't want to pick on anybody, you know, than two than two business associate names that are linked by, an, you know, an and or something. So very, very right. cool. Yep. Yeah. And you guys um, 
uh, you know, came to the business with uh, significant experience with recruitment from other places. And I don't know, did you work together, to, you and Corey, or did you yeah, just know of each yeah, other? Yeah, we did. Um, yeah, between the both of us, we have a combined almost 40 years of experience. Oh my and my brother, um, who we brought on, um, has, you know, more than I do. So it's an additional, you know, another 15, you know, 17 years of experience. Very cool. Um, but yeah, Corey and I did work together at a, a very large uh, building materials distribution company. Um, Corey had been there for a long time and was the director of staffing. Mm-hmm. Um, I was brought on as just a recruiter, and I you know worked my way up to a lead on on the team. And uh, yeah, once Corey announced that he was going to go off on his own, I was like, well, I <laughs> you know I want to go too, yeah. so take me with you. Yeah. So uh, nice. I started to talk to him about it, and then we did that. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, and you're both incredibly nice. I've said this to people. I think it has more impact if I say it. You can't say it, but um, um, you know, you're 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 both incredibly nice people, and um, you know, when you take smart, nice, responsive, ethical, and you put them together, you have the you know the ingredients of somebody that you want to work with, no matter what the field is. So um, we're very proud that Yeti to work is a. Um, you know, a real partner with the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce in terms of offering um, staffing services, employment services uh, to our business members. And, uh, you know, there are some, you know, some extra benefits for Greece Chamber members. Um, I don't know if you want to talk a little bit about that and also how you work, how a business, you know, works with you and what to expect. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, we have a, a, a partnership with the Greece Chamber, as you touched on. Um, essentially what it would look like for anyone that would be interested is if they needed help with any of their employment needs, they could reach out to, you know, either you or, or myself and, um, you would get a discount off the, the, the fee. Um, so there'd be a discount rate for anyone that would, you know, any Greece member that chooses to use our services. Then a portion of that fee would also go towards to the Greece chamber, um, that just benefits everybody. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's been a it's been a great partnership for us. I hope it has been for oh, yeah. for you guys as well. Very much so. Yes. Um, yeah, but we've had a handful of projects that we've worked on, and we've we've had some repeat customers come back um, through the Grease Chamber. So it's it's been a good yeah. good partnership. Yeah, um, but as far as you know, you know, working with with us, um, you know, if there was ever any interest, obviously the first thing would do would be to you know reach out to myself or my brother Mike or whoever, and you know, we could have a, a preliminary conversation about your company, what you're looking to do and hire. Um, we always like to, if possible, at least stop out um, to meet in person, get a maybe get a tour of the place where you work. Mm-hmm. Um, it helps us as we're talking to the candidates, mm-hmm. um, you know, get a more in-depth conversation about exactly what you're looking for because not everything's always on job descriptions. Um, and then we just, we, we go from there. Um, then we, we do everything that we can to, um, find you the, the right candidate for your, for your position that you need. Um, we do everything that everyone else always does, posting jobs and things like that. But we also use other resources as well. We have a, a by now a pretty significant database of, of candidates that we reach mm-hmm. out to right away. Mm-hmm. Um, we have different tools that we use and different databases that we access constantly and, just constantly outreaching to outreaching to people, you know, gauging their interest, talking to them about different positions, um, presenting them if they are. We help coordinate interviews, um, and we do as much as or as little as one as, that is wanted by the employer. We can extend offers and things like that. Um, but yeah, we're we're very um, responsive to any questions that people might have. Um, we. We follow up as pretty promptly as well. Um, mm-hmm. We give updates to potential or to our customers or clients that are hiring um, at least once a week as well. Wow. Um, yeah, that's... So we don't, you know, we don't just kind of fall off the face of the earth. <laughs> we, we stay pretty engaged and pretty active, and mm-hmm. you know, we're, we're again, we're, we're pretty responsive if anyone ever reaches out to us. Yeah, so um, yeah. We yeah, pride I... ourselves on, on customer service. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. yeah, I. That's certainly, I, I mean, I've now worked with you guys for a long time, and I'm, you are consistently very responsive. 
um, you know, uh, which is which is great. Not everybody is. And I'm sure that uh, when you're very responsive, it's, you know, you, you might have a couple other things that you need to be worrying about, but you manage to make people feel like they're the only thing on on their plates, you know, which is great customer service. So this is such a tough time right now, too, right? Aren't employers having an incredible, incredibly difficult time attracting new employees, keeping employees as well? Um, so... I don't know whether you're seeing an increase um, or maybe people need to know that you're a resource because um, I, boy, it seems like every business that I'm, that I'm talking to is having some staffing issues. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's hundred percent accurate, Sarah. The, the landscape of hiring is, is ever changing um, throughout the course of this pandemic. Um, you know, initially it was no one's hiring because everything was shut down and, um, and now it's a different different world that we're living in, um, where there are definitely a lot of companies looking to hire, um, and that's where we can kind of step yep. in and help out. Um, as you mentioned, Sarah, we we like I like I talked about earlier a little bit about our processes. We're always reaching out to people, constantly asking for referrals to camps, even if they're not interested. Um, it's taking, you know, we're having to do that, you know kind of on steroids these days to try to find the right person. Um, it's, so it's taking a lot more work and effort and, and behind the scenes stuff to find people that are interested. Um, you know, and it, it, part of it's just, you know, probably for a few reasons, but I mean, you know, one of them being that, you know, when people were at home during the, the pandemic, um, you know, they got a taste of a little bit of, you know, work from home life. Yep. Um, I'm not saying that's the end all to be all, but, you know, certain jobs that don't allow that, such right. as like construction or manufacturing <laughs> yes. or anything that's working with your right. hands. But, um, you know, if, if companies are allowing some sort of hybrid model or open to some things like that, that kind of can put you a little bit of an advantage. Um, yeah. You know, because some people like working from home. You know, me personally, I, I primarily work from home, but I have an office that I go to and I do go there at least once a week just to kind of mix right. my routine up a little bit. Right. Um, yeah. It certainly may speak to an, an evolution in the workforce and how we, how we you, know, you know, whether we require people to be in offices moving forward. But to your point, you can't do certain things from home at all. But um, this is yeah. why I'm just I just think. Uh, you're already taking a tremendous burden off of companies, some of, some of whom have HR departments that are overburdened, um, some, of, some of whom don't have HR departments. I mean, some smaller businesses don't, don't have anybody on staff that's dedicated to something like recruiting. So having you to yeah. do all that, as you pointed out, now taking much more time doing all that work to find some good candidates, people that are qualified and ready and willing and able to work um, is phenomenal. And do people have to pay, do companies have to pay you up front or is it only pay or do they pay only when you're, when they accept a candidate and, the, and there's a placement? How does yeah. that work? Good question. Um, yeah. So th- we only, um, you know, charge if you were to hire someone that was referred Got by it. us. So, okay. um, you know, it's kind of like a no risk type thing. Really if you is. wanted to give us a chance and see if we can help you out, if, if yep. we can do better, great. And if not, you know, doesn't cost you or hurt anything. Wow, that's huge. Um, yeah. That, so, that's yeah, that, that's the way we works. And you, you hit it on the nail on the head earlier, too, Sarah. I mean, we work with a lot of smaller companies that were the owner or president of the company is kind of doing – operations, mm-hmm. hands-on, HR, hiring, firing, interviewing, things like that. So we can take that burden off, off people's plates and, yep. you know, really focus on that while they can do other things to kind of improve their own businesses yeah. as opposed to being worried about yeah, their staffing a, needs. Yeah, it's a critical service. It's always important, but right now it's really a critical service that you offer. And, um, you know, not only are you taking the burden off, but it, as you said, it's no risk because, the, the business owner doesn't doesn't have to pay unless he accepts a placement from one of the candidates you refer. So that's absolutely awesome. If people want to reach you, how do they do that? Yeah, yeah, they can um, you know, reach me by by phone. Um, do you want me to give my, sure. my contact whatever info? You're, whatever you're willing to give out over the airwaves because it's pretty yeah, public. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so um, real quick before I do that, also on top of, you know, you don't – we, we don't charge unless you hire someone that we refer over. We also offer um, a guarantee on the people that we, we oh. place as well. So we do a 90-day guarantee, That's which 
is pretty industry standard, but it gives you peace of mind that mm-hmm. if the person doesn't work out within the 90 days, we'll replace the person at no additional charge. That's great. Um, but, yeah, if, if anyone's interested, they can reach me. Um, my email address is just Matt, so M-A-T-T, at, and then it's my company's name, yeti to work which is Y-E-T-I-T-O-W-O-R-K.com. Wonderful. Um, so, so Matt at yeti to workcom That might be the best way. Okay. Um, the other way would just be over phone which is um, area code 419-344-4646. So either way works. Um, that, that number I just gave you is my cell, so you can call or text that number. Um, but, again, my email is connected to my phone, so I'm always, I always have both <laughs> on me. So um, That's great. I don't think so. people could be getting a better and more direct way to the owner of the company, Matt Weinrich, Yeti to Work. Thank you so much for being here today on Business Voice. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for having me, Sarah. Uh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome, Matt. All right, don't go away. We've got one more guest. Don't flip that dial. Funerals can be expensive. You may be surprised to learn that you can get Bartolomeo and Prado Funeral Homes five-star service at a price you can afford. They understand one price doesn't fit all and strive to ensure that your needs are met within your budget. Their family of funeral homes are a part of helping to achieve that goal. But above all else, they promise quality service. The details are taken care of so you can focus on what's important. Find out more by calling Bartolomeo and Prado Funeral Home at 720-6000. Gift yourself a blah free 2022. Boost your mood and your health in a blink and start the year off right. Blink Fitness is your fun, friendly neighborhood gym with tons of state-of-the-art equipment and a mood above muscle attitude. Join for a dollar and get all the perks. What do you have to lose? Blink Fitness Grease is located at 2833 West Ridge Road in the Wegmans Ridgemont Plaza. Join today and experience feel-good fitness in a blink. Enjoy dozens of exhibits related to your home and your health at the Grease Regional Chamber's 2022 Health and Home Expo at the Mall at Grease Ridge on Saturday, June 4th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Lead sponsors are LaChase Construction Services, Bartolomeo and Parado Funeral Home, Bryant and Stratton College, Home Instead Senior Care, 13 Wham ABC, and WYSL. To find out more, visit us online today at greasechamber.org. The Grease Regional Chamber's Health and Home Expo at the Mall at Grease Ridge on Saturday, June 4th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Depositing your money with Genesee Regional Bank helps strengthen the local community. That's because GRB lends its deposits so the community can grow and prosper. Genesee Regional Bank. Community banking. Community building. Visit grbbank.com. Member FDIC. Alexa, play WYSL. And here at WYSL stations worldwide, WYSL1040.com. Welcome back. You're listening to Business Voice, a program of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce, sponsored by Bartolomeo and Parado Funeral Home. I'm Sarah Lentini, your host as always, and also president and CEO of the Greece Regional Chamber. And I'm now delighted to welcome my next guest, Greg Cullen of Paychecks. Welcome, Greg. Hi, Sarah. How is, uh, how's everything going? It's going pretty good. You know what? Spring is here. The temperature oh. rose. The trees are blooming. And so, Greg... Um, I uh, am so excited to have you on the show. You've been on before, but, you know, yeah. it's a wonderful partnership that we've, uh, we at the Greece Regional Chamber have developed with you in particular and Paychecks, you and, um, you know, uh, uh, your area of Paychecks, which is specific to payroll. And I wondered if you could right. talk, I mean, I think people know what Paychecks is in the main, but if you could talk sure. a little bit about the payroll services uh, as yeah. well as the, you know, the, the special, you have really some special offer and benefits um, specific to, to Greece Regional Chamber members. Absolutely, yes, and, and thanks again. Um, yeah, I mean, a, a Paychex is, you know, a Paychex is as local as it gets when it comes to a payroll service. Um, you know, the corporate office is right here in Penfield, um, in Rochester here, and, and where we pride ourselves is working with smaller businesses. Mm-hmm. Um, me personally, my average size client is four employees, believe it or not. Mm-hmm. Um, so we, you know, our niche is working with the smaller businesses to provide that customer service. Um, so, you know, 
a lot of local companies are out there doing payroll. Um, the thing that I pride myself on is I provide my cell phone to all my clients. They can text or call me mm-hmm. um, at night or even on the weekends, and, and that extra customer service goes quite a long way. Um, and I think that's the big thing that, that clients are looking for nowadays mm-hmm. is that extra extra customer service to make sure they're taken care of. Absolutely. And as someone who's interacted with you now for quite some time, um, you know, I- I'm just going to say – you're not just saying words there. You are very responsive. You are the, you know, you're one of those folks where if I, if I've got a question or any kind of a, you know, a small whatever, um, you, if I send out an email, if I even just copy you in, you are back to me in a flash. And that means a lot. I I agree with you. I think it is the distinguishing characteristic for businesses moving forward. So so kudos. And, you know, like I said, there's a lot of there's a lot of services out there, but I think, um, you know, I, I truly think that people aren't um, buying payroll from paychecks. I think they're buying payroll from me. <laughs> um, and I think that's the biggest thing right there. Um, you know, that extra that extra personal relationship, I want to make sure my clients are taken yep. care of because I work with so many, you know, CPAs, bankers, insurance agents, and a lot of my business comes from them. And, and if I'm not taking care of their clients, then I'm not growing my business. And, and um, that all starts with taking care of yeah, uh, the community and the local clients. Yeah, yeah, and that's why we're we really appreciate the partnership, specifically with you as well. Um, I know that you're gonna you're going to be responsive and take care of of our of our members. That means a lot to us. So um, sure. you've got uh, talk to us about the you know the actual product, the you know sure. the payroll sure. products. Sure. So um, so paychecks. One of the big things that you know, uh, of course, you know, like I said, you're certainly buying paychecks from or payroll from Greg Cohen. But I think um, you know the the state of the art technology that I have standing behind me that Paychex provides. Um, we are number one in the industry when it comes to technology, hmm. um, and most clients are um, doing payroll online nowadays. Now you're still going to have that that operations customer service uh, uh, payroll specialist that you can either call or email if you need to, but. Our state-of-the-art technology allows clients to go right online on their desktops or pull up the Paychex Flex app, plug in their employees' hours, and hit submit. Um, and within within seconds, they're processing payroll. Um, and like I said, we're number one in the industry when it comes to that technology, and mm-hmm. that's also a, 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 a facet that separates us from a lot of our competitors. Um, you know, people outsource payroll for, for one thing, and, and that's to – take the liability and the time that it takes to do that off of their plate. Paychex is taking on that liability and mm. letting what small businesses do best, and that's run their business. Hmm. Talk a little about the liability. What kind of liability is there in the, that you're shouldering? Yeah, so, um, and again, for small businesses, you know, a lot of times when I meet with a small a small business owner mm-hmm. or a new business, they don't know, they don't even know that they have to do pay payroll taxes, right? So mm-hmm. a lot of times I'm educating this this new business owner or small mm-hmm. business owner on, you know, what what payroll taxes are, um, mm-hmm. you know, if they've registered their business with the state to pay state taxes. And I'm mm-hmm. walking them through much more than just payroll. It's everything mm-hmm. leading up to payroll as well. Um, now, where the liability comes into place is pay taxes bonded and insured by the federal government, okay? So mm-hmm. if for whatever reason uh, paychex makes a mistake or even the client makes a mistake mm-hmm. in submitting something wrong, the liability falls on paychecks, and we t- we we work with the government and the IRS to um, to, to reconcile everything. Wow. That way, the client isn't hit with fees and things like that. We we take on that liability so that the client doesn't have to deal with any of that stuff. That's really important. That Absolutely. is no small point that you just made. Wow. Yeah. And is that true of all payroll companies or? Um, so the two the two companies that are bonded and insured, full disclosure with the federal um, and every state government in the country, is Paychex and ADP. Um, most other services are not bonded and insured by huh. the federal government. Also, that's important. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. Is that on the national landscape? Is that what you were saying? Yeah, that's on a national wow. level, yeah. Yeah, yep. those are, yeah, there's the, only, and I jokingly say, like, if you're not with Paychex, you should probably use ADP because they're the only ones that are wow. bonded and insured by the federal government. I didn't know that. That's really that's that's pretty illuminating. So and and very important. So, well, that's great. Um, good to know. Yeah. Um, and now let's talk a little bit. You've got some. Uh, special. Do you have a special offer for the Greece Regional Chamber members? <laughs> Yes, yes, absolutely. About, yeah. um, so the, the spring promotion that I have right now, um, and typically there is a there's a there's a longstanding uh, 
um, essentially preferred rates for any Greece Chamber members. But right now, specifically, <clears throat> um, any Greece Chamber member that is using another service that's not Paychex, mm-hmm. um, and, and they do have to have a payroll service, um, mm-hmm. we can take a look at whatever they're paying right now with their current vendor, and we can lower that price 20% and offer them that rate annually on an annual basis to save them 20% on payroll wow. uh, for this year and the years moving forward. So it's a huge promotion because Paychex is usually, you know, like I said, full disclosure, we're usually the more expensive okay. provider um, because we are a larger company. So we are typically on the more expensive end, but this is kind of the one time that um, we can save clients money. And I think our, our VPs are trying to rebrand mm-hmm. Paychex to the local business, the smaller businesses to let them know, hey, you know, we understand um, it's been tough times the last couple mm-hmm. of years. Mm-hmm. You know, this is a huge promotion that is allowing these small businesses to um, use a company like Paychex and not have to worry about spending too much on payroll. That's great. So if a Greece Regional Chamber member, business member, has a current payroll provider other than Paychex and yep. they want to come over to Paychex through the Greece Regional Chamber and you, Greg Cullen of Paychex, they can mm-hmm. get a 20% reduction for... How long again? Correct. So all of our pricing is, is, is 12 months by to 12 months. So each year you would get that discount, but it, it, there's no co- we don't have any contracts, but it, it would be good. It would be an ongoing thing. Got it. Um, oh, so so yeah. That's a huge deal because it's not 20, one time 20 percent. This is something right. that aggregates and is, um, and is a special offer right now. So if people want to reach you, Greg, in order to sign up for something like this, how do they reach you? Sure. The best way to reach me would be my cell phone, and okay. that is 315-952-5580. Um, and again, that's my cell phone. You can call or text that number. Um, and more than happy to sit down with you to talk about, you know, what services we can provide um, and how we can help, uh, you know, maybe save you money or provide additional service that maybe you're not getting uh, the support you have now. So. That's wonderful. Greg, pa- uh, Greg Cullen from Paychex, thank you so much for being with us here today on Business Voice. All right. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it, as always. Oh, uh, same here. Thank you for coming on. All right. That just about does it for us here today on Business Voice. We are so delighted that you joined us. Uh, and I want to give a special thanks to our guests, starting with Dave Parado of Bartolomeo and Parado Funeral Home, our presenting sponsor for Business Voice, uh, Blink Fitness and J.J. Patrikas, Matt Weinrich of Yeti to Work, and Greg Collin of Paychex. Uh, coming up, we've got a Health and Home Expo on June 4th from 10 to 1 at the mall at Grease Ridge. It's a Saturday. Hopefully the sun will be shining. Uh, it's free and open to the public. We hope you stop by and visit us. Uh, and uh, some of the folks we had on today will actually be on hand to talk with you. Uh, in the interim, check out our website at greasechamber.org. And until next time, be well. You've been listening to Business Voice. The Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce serves businesses, nonprofits, and individuals throughout the region focusing on promoting economic and community development and serving as the voice for business. The Chamber offers networking, education, advocacy, community events, and business services. It serves as an important platform for business leaders and citizens to come together in support of common goals. 